up with a little cold so my voice kind of sounds like different not bad but it's okay <laughs> So you guys know how when you are sympathizing with someone and so it just feels wrong to eat in front of them or put up any act that might show enthusiasm towards life, not to talk of happiness. I don't know if you know that position I'm talking about. I have been in that feeling for some days, you know feeling guilty to be happy when there is so much going on around you so there's this thing that um, a lot of people hear that I am bigger in size than me they're looking at me some type of way am I not supposed am I not supposed to be here must I be must I be huge to come and run I'm sweating but I don't know what's their point but that's just by the way hmm. oh my god there's this guy even he's trying to learn how to skate and oh my god I'm just he's always like going like his hands are always like going whoa 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 well, I'm like please don't fall down please don't fall down you know when there's so much going on around you grief hardship war and so many things um expectations of me I know what they expect of me. More so, I know what I expect of myself. Even though I am aware of where I am, and it's not my bus stop, I am happy. Great guys, you see that guy that I said he was learning how to skate, right? He he's already taking his skates off. Like I feel sorry for him because he's not getting it and I think nobody like nobody is in anybody's business. I don't know if I should go like do like I used to do and go and get in his business and try to be like, um, are you done? Like you sure you're done? Like let me, me help you get this. But something's telling me to mind my business. Uh uh. Even to bear this thing, this guy is falling with it. But recently, I've been holding back from showing this happiness that it might be taken for complacency or just settling. I don't know. That thing that restrains me. But it all comes from judgment and guilt like, how dare you be happy in this situation, you know? So anytime I go out to run, there's a feeling I'm trying to shed off. I'm going to back to that court to go and play. All those niggas looking at me like, eh, I'm not supposed to be. Whoa, what the hell are you looking at? What are you looking at? Am I not supposed to be here? And this time around, it was meant to remind me and give myself permission to be happy. Like, freely. It made me wonder how many times we unconsciously choose unhappiness. Why you might think that who would choose unhappiness when happiness is this one price, you know, the um, ultimate goal to which we all work hard in life. There are certain times that we unconsciously choose unhappiness, you know, just by comparing ourselves to other people. You want to do what others are doing. You think maybe there is one way to happiness so you have to do what others are doing on the contrary we all can be happy in our diversity yet we try so much to copy choose what is working for other people 
and then twiddling our own imaginations that could create the most of our own person. And while you might find yourself unhappy from time to time, it's okay. Don't be ashamed. It's not a permanent situation either. It's how we are structured. And that's why we need to intentionally find our way back to happiness. Reminding ourselves of the things that matter.